And now we're going to join David Wilkes in this big 38-foot Donzi triple Mercury outboards. And what a great ride. I mean, this is a perfect boat for fishing or weekending with that forward cabin. And today, well, it's great for doing poker runs. David is a licensed uh, U.S. Coast Guard captain and a very active hauler. He's on the highway every time I chat with him, moving boats from coast to coast. All right. This is my left hand inertia eco and my badass hat. My right hand inertia eco. And today I'm going to press in the hub adapters so I can put these on the Yamaha F350 V8 5.3 liter outboards. Stay tuned because this is going to be cool. So let me give you a breakdown of what we're doing here. These are the Mercury Inertia Eco Props. I got these from Performance Outboard in Fort Myers, Florida. They're the only company in the United States that I know that has these in stock. Um, I've used these props on several different offshore boats, um, both being Donzies and another one, that, uh, another Grady White, and another uh, Boston Whaler, all with uh, the big Verados or the Yamaha F350s, the V8s. The propellers that are on the Grady that I'm transporting are the 16 by 17 inch pitch props. And since we're looking for best economics and best fuel economy, best uh, cruise speed and more control, I'm going with the 18 pitch, so I'm stepping it up one. Um, Grady's been using the same propeller on their boat, on the Freedom and their larger boats for about 10 years now. And I have not seen in any of their certified specs for any of their testing that they use, have used anything other than a 17 inch pitch, 16 inch diameter propeller. Um, and the reason for that is because it gives a good hole shot, but then it doesn't really hold the boat that well. Um, whereas this propeller holds the boat very well on plane. Um, it's got a really 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 nice uh beautiful rake beautiful pitch it's progressive all the way through um the blade finish on this is the polish on it is absolutely outstanding um it's got cup on the back which gives you you know some bow lift and then it's got a really long barrel which also helps uh promote holding the stern so this is one of the most phenomenal props that I've ever used on a center console boat. Um, it is just really, really great. So the other thing is the Yamaha props have a solid um, plastic hub uh, with, with a steel insert. So we're going with an anodized aluminum that is on a rubber insert. And this will get pushed into the back of this propeller here. We're going to put it, this is called a torque flow hub. And Again, this is to reduce any of the impact from shifting back and forth. So like if you shift your Yamaha or you shift your Mercury and you don't have the rubberized torque flow hub, um, you'll notice it like a clunk clunk every time you go in and out of gear, especially if you have a joystick steering, you'll hear a lot of clunk clunk clunk. So we're gonna put this on the press. We're gonna press this down so it's nice and flush. It comes with a brand new, um, uh, brand new thrust washer, stainless steel conical thrust washer. Um, comes with this extra adapter if necessary. Uh, brand new nut, brand new washer. Um, and then there's a trim ring that goes on here. This is the exhaust ring. This is to keep the exhaust from slipping over the propeller, um, over the outside of the propeller. And if we need to increase our hole shot, which would be, you know, a 17 inch pitch is great for hole shot, but the Yamaha propellers don't have any uh, PVS, which is the, this is like um, slipping the clutch or having a stall converter in the car. If we find that the boat can't get on plane or we're not getting enough wheel off the line, you know, out the hole, we'll pull these PVS holes out. That'll allow the exhaust to come out ahead of the blade, which will allow the propeller to slip a little bit. If you've never known what that's for, that's what those are for. Um, you can go to a little bit larger blade and get as good hole shot by adding some ventilation. So since we're gonna have plenty of time to test this boat in all different configurations, full of fuel, half of fuel, out of fuel, um, you know, by the time you get to done with this trip, we'll have this thing completely tuned in. So now I'm gonna put all this together, set it up on the press, and we'll move to that video in just a second. 
All right, so we've got the Inertia Eco on the press. And we're applying a little bit of pressure. Get that in. How easy was that? I got that in nice and flush. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. You put the spline in, in first in case you didn't know. All right, so one last step. After you've pressed this in, using the ram to get this flush, and you wanna put the, this thrust washer in and make sure you have perfectly centered and then give it an extra press. If you don't do this step, if you forget this one little bitty step, what happens is when you tighten down the nut, you'll think you'll have the, tight, the nut nicely torqued. And then as the boat's running, this is gonna find its own set. And then you'll have a gap where this is able to move around. Your prop will be able to wiggle. And well, that's just bad. So you've got to get this piece in there. You've got to get that set so that there's no way that you can have any play once you torque the nut onto the main shaft of the, uh, of the lower unit. And now comes time to put the exhaust ring on. Because the gear case on the Yamaha is a little larger, if you didn't have this for the exhaust ring, you'd have exhaust flow that would flow over the entire barrel of the propeller all the time. And you want the exhaust to go through the propeller, not around it. That's what these PVS holes are for, is to allow some of the exhaust pressure to leak from the inside out ahead of the blade. Those bubbles come out, get ahead of this blade here, and that helps the blade slip a little bit. As you're going fast and you have a lot of speed, the bubbles go through the path of least resistance. They don't come here and make a 90 degree turn and come out. They just go through the end of the barrel down here and exit the bottom of the propeller. So next thing I gotta do is press this on. Now, let me get something I can put across the top beyond, you know, firm across that, get a nice even drop on it and we'll be good to go. All right, so now I got this really nice piece of I think it's three eighths. I think it's, no, it's more than three eighths. I got a nice piece of thick aluminum here, 6061. And that's gonna give me a nice uniform uh, pressure across that ring. We'll drop this down. I can't hear anything because I got this fan going. Let's turn the fan off. Isn't that better? I'm having a holler here. And then, as I'm applying the pressure, the ring is going down. And it's going down evenly. I just gotta make sure. It's taking quite a bit of pressure here. We got, what, one ton? Almost flush. We gotta make sure we're flush all the way around. All the way around. This side, not so much. All right, we're flush on that side. This side's hanging up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen this up a little bit. Let that come off of the deck. We're gonna move this over just a tad bit. Let's see. So we're right over that. You can see the set screw right there. I'll bring this down some. Oh yeah, there it goes. And now we're bottomed out. We'll take the pressure off. We'll spin this around and make sure we're even all the way around. I think we can put a little bit of a little bit of pressure right there. So let's tighten this up. Yeah. 
and we're good. Got about four tons of pressure on it. Release the pressure. I'm gonna pull this metal off of here in a second. We'll take a look at the, the ring. Okay, here's the set screw. The set screw's gonna go in here into this ring. Now, we've pressed this on using almost five tons of pressure. I doubt it's ever gonna come off. But just because things thermally expand and heat up and all that, and you have exhaust hitting it, we're gonna put these in here just for good measure. They designed it like that, so that's how we're gonna do it. And we're gonna put some Loctite on it just in case. All right, we got a little red thread locker on it. Don't ever, don't ever anticipate ever needing to take this off. Put it into place, tighten it down. Give it a nice little turn, some torque. Take that out. Wipe that right off. And that is done. Now we got two more to do. I'll get these done. All right, now we got both propellers are done. Spacers are on. Hubs are inserted. They're flush with the edge. As you see, these have got, they've been balanced. A little balance weight in this one. Got all the bolt nuts and the thrust washers are in the box. We're good to go. I'm gonna put these back in the box and uh, I'll wrap this video up, but I just, I'll send you the links to where I bought these from, Offshore Performance in Fort Myers. Um, talk to Allie or any of the guys there. They're absolutely the best prices anywhere. And they have the Inertia Ecos in stock. Best propeller for a center console hand sound.